We're being told it's the hottest new game in Houston. It's called Pickleball. Pickleball. Channel 2 anchor Owen Conflenti shows us how you can paddle up for a good time. Pickleball? Ah, I am not sure. It's a game most people have never heard of. Pickleball? No, never. I have no idea. So when we hit the streets of Southwest Houston to ask people, what do you think pickleball is? We got some pretty interesting answers. Maybe like football with a pickle? I don't know. Well, I would assume it has something to do with hitting a pickle with a baseball bat. Am I right? And no? Is that not even close? Not quite. But pickleball is a game sweeping the country and growing in popularity with players from all walks of life. There are no pickles in pickleball. Meet Sharon Meyer. The retired school teacher began playing last year, and she's hooked. I'm a little bit on the addicted side, so um, I actually play seven days a week, sometimes more than once a day. So just what is this game with that unique name? So think of it like tennis meets badminton meets ping pong. And really, anyone can play this game, no matter your age, your skill level, or even your physical condition. We have some players who weigh 300 pounds. We have some players who've had kidney transplants. We have players who've had knee replacements and hip replacements. Mike Goldberg began teaching pickleball five years ago. He's seen the sport explode in Houston, going from just a handful of players playing one hour a week to well over a thousand players here locally. You can play pickleball somewhere in Houston virtually every day and sometimes all day. Much like tennis, pickleball players can can use forehands, backhands, even overhead smashes. This is a pickleball paddle. There are a number of kinds of these. They come in different shapes and sizes. The ball is plastic, and it's a wiffle ball. The pickleball court is smaller than a tennis court, and Mike says there are three other big differences between the way you play the games. You serve underhand rather than overhand. When you serve and the ball comes back, you have to let it bounce once before you can hit it in the air. And the third thing that's different is that from seven feet from the net, there is a no volley zone where you can't hit the ball in the air. And now that we understand the game, back to that unique name. The story is a doctor on Washington's Bainbridge Island created the game in 1965. The story that's out there is that uh, the doctor had a dog named Pickles that used to chase the ball for him, and so he called it Pickles Ball. Sharon says Pickleball is not only benefited her physically, but also socially with the new friendships she's made. I retired a year and a half ago, and in no way did I ever think that my life would become a pickleball life, and truly my life is a pickleball life. The pickleball craze does not appear to be slowing down at all. According to USA Pickleball, 85 courts are being added each day somewhere in this country. To find out where you can play here in town or to sign up for a class to learn the game, visit click2houston.com and look for this story. Owen Conflenti, KPRC, Channel 2. And